Okay, I'm on my way to Club Heavy Sick, which is just around here. And uh, I've been here before. Now, Heavy Sick is awesome. Uh, I played here in 2011 and I fucking loved it. This venue is rad. So here we are tonight, Psychotic Turnbuckles. Club Heavy Sick. Place fucking rules. So it's a very small venue. So anyway, I'm here out the front. I'm gonna go pay to get in. And it uh, looks like there's t-shirts and stuff. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be good times. Frank is over here from Waterfront Records. And somebody I need to speak to because uh, he needs to help me with my book. So yeah, he's, out, he's over there behind me in the gray shirt. That's Frank Cutterall from Waterfront. I should go and say something, but I feel kind of weird doing that while he's having a conversation. So I'm going to go downstairs, pay, buy these records for the fadeaways and whatever, and then, uh, yeah, good times. I need a drink too. I'm really fucking thirsty. <laughs>
So here I am in my hotel room in Shinjuku after seeing the incredible show by the fadeaways, the psychotic turnbuckles and the laundrettes. Seeing the fadeaways tonight was mind blowing. That is one of the most high energy power trios, garage rock and roll bands I've ever seen in my life. They were just awesome. They really, really were just awesome. My ears were destroyed in a good way. They were completely destroyed. Uh, following on from that, I saw the Psychotic Turnbuckles, who are from Sydney via Pismo Beach. And this was my second Psychotic Turnbuckle show. The first time I saw them was at the Cherry Bar like 10 years ago. Pretty amazing. And then what was so crazy about tonight is tonight was the 19th of October. But as I'm recording this, it's currently the 20th of October. On 2011, the 20th of October, I played the very same venue here in Japan, Club Heavy Sick, with my old band. And it was so cool that the first time back to that venue was, you know, on the day, like, or day before, I should say, uh, 12 years ago. It's pretty amazing. Anyway, I want to show you some things. So I bought this new record by The Fadeaways. And if you buy the record, you get a poster. And here is that poster. So pretty cool. And I think it looks awesome. I don't know how I'm going to get it home, though. This is the issue I face. Because I don't want it to get damaged. And I'm scared it's going to get damaged. But I'm sure if there's a will, there's a way. And I'll get it home. Uh, but I really like this poster. It's so cool. I should have got them all to sign it. I don't know why I didn't. Uh, that's kind of goofy of me because there's areas here where they could have signed it. I could still get them to sign it tomorrow. Uh, yeah, I guess I can say tomorrow now because it is Friday morning, uh, like tomorrow at the Halloween ball. But um, I probably don't want to be carrying this around with me. But still, really, really cool poster, amazing band. Do yourself a favor and check out the fadeaways. I posted records of them this week and somebody went and checked them out on my recommendation and wrote to me to tell me how much you loved them. So I'm not lying. The fadeaways are incredible. And their records, I love their records, but their live show, oh my God, they're easily one of the greatest live bands playing in the world today. Now, I know that's a big call to make, but it's one that I'm going to make and I believe it. And I stand by it because they were that fucking good. Now, I bought some records. They had some records at the show and I have to go through these just quickly, uh, which will help me in case I see them again and think that I haven't already got them. But they released this eight inch record on a label called Uncle Jazz Records. And there's only 50 copies, only 50. 
and I have number 23. So it's numbered on the back there. So very, very cool. It was, uh, I guess it's released to coincide with the uh, Halloween ball. I bought this one, which is on blue vinyl. Uh, I don't know why the color matters so much, but yeah, there you go. See, I got this one, which is a split with a band called the Rebels. And then I've got this one, which is awesome. And then I've got this one, this 10 inch record, Dirty Water EP. Now, he also, uh, Toyozo, the bassist, is in a band called Angel Face. And this just came out, I think, or something. Did it just come out? Yes, it did. And he posted a video online and stuff and I was into it right away and I just said, can you please keep a copy of this and bring it to the show? And he said, yes. So I got a copy of it and I'm very happy. And yeah, Taizu, what a top dude. Uh, I, I love his enthusiasm and he just loves everything and it was just great. Uh, yeah, I hope the Thorazines, my band, and the fadeaways can do some shows sometime in the future because they were good. Now onto the psychotic turnbuckles. I've been listening to that band, well, since the late eighties. I discovered their band name in a thanks list of the hard ons. And immediately I was like, I need to listen to this band. I mean, obviously psychotic turnbuckles. And when in the eighties, I was a big WWF fan wrestling. And so I immediately was drawn to them. You know, here's a band that pretends they're wrestlers. They sing about rock and roll wrestling and whatever. And they're just so good at it. So anyway, I saw them play. And they were incredible tonight. They really were. I spoke to Jesse, the intruder, and uh, the Grand Wizard, the guitar player. And, you know... For a band that probably doesn't have any presence in Japan, they went down incredible. Like people loved them, and rightly so because they're great. The songs hold up. So if you even if you took away the shtick, the whole wrestling shtick and the psychedelic and the green hair and all that, and just listen to the songs, those songs hold up. So yeah, incredible show. I'm so glad I got to see them do a sideshow because uh, tomorrow at the Halloween ball, they're only playing for like 20 minutes each. So the sets are really short, you know, but there's like 40 bands. And so, uh, yeah, it's going to be one hell of a fucking day, but I'm really looking forward to it. Anyway, I'm going to go to bed. I'm tired, but it's been incredible. I've had a fucking amazing day and I love Japan. I really love Japan. This is my favorite place to visit in the entire world. Yeah, I love Japan. I really do. I miss this place every time I'm not here. Uh, I love the music. I love the people. I love the food. Uh, I just, yeah, I like, uh, I like the train system. Uh, I don't like Shinjuku station though. <laughs> That's one thing I don't like. That station is impossible to navigate because it keeps changing all the time. But uh, yeah, anyway, thanks heaps for watching another episode of the Long Gone Loser Rock Show. Take care of yourselves, look after each other, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.